Every child in these islands stands a coin's toss chance of getting diabetes. The Marshall Islands are located 2,200 miles southwest of Honolulu, only 400 miles from the equator in the tropical North Pacific. I'm Jamie Spence. And I'm Jackie Spence. And together in 1981, we founded Canvasback Missions. It's a unique ministry that brings health care to some of the most isolated and forgotten people on our planet. People who live out their entire lives on remote Pacific islands, separated from the rest of the world by hundreds of miles of ocean. In the 1990s, the first president of the newly formed Republic of the Marshall Islands, Amata Kabua, asked Canvasback to tackle his country's biggest health problem. President Kabua asked Canvasback to develop a diabetes wellness program to reverse the epidemic of diabetes on these islands. When people think of the Pacific Islands, they think that this is a paradise, but quite frankly, this is far from a paradise. In fact, the people struggle in the scorching equatorial sun just to earn a living to feed their children. The Marshall Islands are coral atolls. The islands are tiny, just a half mile wide and a mile long. There are no rivers, no streams of water, no trees loaded with tropical fruit. The only drinking water comes from the sky and is caught in rain catchments. There are no mountains on an atoll. The tallest thing on the island is a coconut tree. People eke out a living from the coral rubble, working under the straight overhead burning sun. It's like living on a gravel pile. The topsoil is paper thin and salty. Very little food grows here. Right after World War II, when these islands became a United States Trust territory, there were only three people known to have type 2 diabetes, and they were over 60 years old. Since then, we've seen an alarming increase in the incidence of diabetes, and even more alarming, a decrease in the age at onset. Now, we find children as young as 14 with adult onset diabetes. Looking at the percentage of adults who already have diabetes, I fear that if we do not reverse this epidemic, the lives of half of the island children will be devastated by this degenerative disease. The cause of this ravaging epidemic is simple. It's the result of a change of lifestyle. Instead of eating the traditional foods like pandanus, taro, and breadfruit, children eat popsicles for breakfast. People have replaced their traditional fiber-filled foods with white flour, white rice, and white sugar. Quite often, everything on the menu is white. School children eat Kool-Aid poured on top of raw ramen noodles for lunch, or ice cream takes the place of a nutritious meal. Pancakes and donuts loaded with fat and sugar make up a good deal of the calories that people consume. A plate piled high with white rice and topped with canned fatty meat is the meal of choice. Years ago, fishing was an important part of island life. Harvesting copra, cultivating taro, promoted an active lifestyle that helped keep the family healthy. Today, they've left those traditional ways behind and traded them for a sedentary lifestyle. Diabetes is the number one cause of admission to the hospital. It's the number one cause of blindness due to diabetic retinopathy. It's the number one cause of amputations, renal failure, and death. A Marshallese person feels that it's his destiny to have diabetes. Like a grim reaper, the scourge has touched every home. The island is lined with family cemeteries. Every Marshallese person has seen his relatives die from the complications of diabetes. When a person is diagnosed with diabetes, he feels like he's been given a death sentence. The Canvas Pack Diabetes Wellness Program is a program of hope. From the very first day, our patients are taught how to take charge of their life 
And it's like turning on a light bulb when they learn that they can truly reverse their diabetes. Our diabetes wellness program includes a number of professional staff. We have uh, doctors, dietitians, and other health professionals that help to teach the Marshallese about why lifestyle medicine is so important for treating and reversing this disease. We take a group of participants and we teach them about foods that are protective for them and not only just telling them what foods are healthful but we actually teach them how to prepare those foods. They participate in exercise programs, walking and a number of education sessions whereby we we teach them not only just about diet and lifestyle, but we also teach about the importance of stress management and the importance of fresh air and plenty of rest and sunshine and, and uh, trusting God. So our, our, the focus of our program is, is quite broad ranging. In just one year, we have seen amazing changes in the Marshall Islands. The healing power of the Canvas Back Diabetes Wellness Program is really catching on. One of the things that I have, I have seen in this program that has changed myself is I feel more strong in my leg because before I was on wheelchairs and I couldn't even move one of my arms because of this pro. And then I've been going through lots of this exercise and all this and by coming into this program and learn about all this thing and eating the right food, that I make a lot of change in, in my movement now. So, this is good. When I started, it was, my sugar level was in the 300s. But it went down within a week, down to about 70. It was fast. I think because of the good food that we ate, all those uh, vegetarian food that are good for the health, that helped me quite a bit. My wife, people, she was really tired of me, you know, because waking up every night and trying to bang on my leg. Now these days she likes, she likes me, you know. Every time I come home, hey, how, how you feel? I said, feel like 17 years old, 18. And then she asked me and she, she really enjoyed my life now. And both of us now, the family together, they liked it because now I changed, changed the lifestyle and changed everything. People are changing their lifestyles. They're having fun walking and exercising. Think of the possibilities. Reversing the deadly epidemic of diabetes for an entire island nation. Giving hope to islanders who have lost hope. And giving a future to an entire generation of children. Working together, we can do it. With your help, we are doing it. If you're from any healthcare discipline, if you're a physician, nurse, health educator, administrator, dietitian, fitness instructor, or a cook, there may be a way for you to volunteer and come with us to the islands. Your gifts are needed. That's the only way that the hope will be kept alive. Please give generously and be a part of a dream that is coming true. Oh.